Welcome back. Today I'm doing a comparison of the original Hot Wheels Elite Love Ferrari and the BBR Love Ferrari, both die-cast fully opening models. The reason why I'm doing this, when the Hot Wheels Elite version came out, that was the very best die-cast opening model of that particular car. Several years later, BBR introduced their die-cast line and they produced a red love Ferrari that's very similar to the Hot Wheels Elite. Now I can tell you already the BBR is definitely going to be the better model when it comes to details but that BBR model is almost hundred and fifty dollars more in price than the Hot Wheels Elite. So the question is, is is it worth trading up because a lot of us who are Ferrari fans probably have that original Hot Wheels Elite love Ferrari. I acquired the BBR one very recently and it really had me thinking, is it really worth trading up? What you have here is the Ferrari, Le Ferrari in Corsa Red. We have the Hot Wheels Elite version and the version by BBR models. And this is not a full review, this is more or less a comparison just based off of what I proposed in my opening of this video today. And the one thing I can say in this comparison, just, or st just straight up, is that these models are very, very much identical, as you can see. I mean, the color, the Corsa Red is a little bit different for each one just slightly but i think that has more to do with the finishing than other rather than the actual color itself the overall shape of both of these cars again are identical so these were matched pretty well with the real thing now when it comes to comparison first i'm going to do side by sides and then we'll go more in depth into the interior and the mortar detail First of all, both of these have perforated grills, as you can see in the front. And they're both very, very well done. There are no complaints at all there. Moving further up at the lights, these are similar, but yet slightly different. The Hot Wheels Elite has a more of a gray shade to it and housing to their lights. I'm not sure if that was an option to the real thing. But in this comparison, I'm looking more so for accuracy and realism. And I can definitely say the BBR version definitely has a better looking, realistic uh, headlight detail. And that, again, that includes that housing as well. It has this nice little chrome um, housing around the actual light bulbs, which looks very, very nice. you take a look at the Ferrari emblems, and I will do a close-up of these as well, the BBR looks like it's pushed into the body of the car, and it does have a texture to it, so it looks a lot more, again, like the real deal, whereas the Hot Wheels Elite looks more so like a decal. Moving on to the back of the model, Both of these very well detailed models, you see the similarities and some differences. Um, the BBR version has a darker exhaust outlet, but I believe that's just an option that this particular car or model has. Whereas the Hot Wheels Elite is more of a, a aluminum finish to it. I can say just looking at both, I like the BBRs better. Not so much for the color, but definitely the outlets are larger and you can see that the inner outlet is slightly higher than the outer and that is correct per the real thing. The headlight, the headlight, the taillight detail is very nice for both. Again, I have to give it a little bit over to the BBR because the BBR you can actually see the bulbs, whereas the 
Hot Wheels Elite, the bulb is more or less washed out. It just looks like a white um, housing, basically. They both have photo etched prancing horses. Both of those are very nice. And of course, both of them have the perforated grills. Moving on to the sides, there's really not much difference in them. I can definitely say with both of these, they have very, very good shut lines for die cast metal models. Um, but other than that, they're virtually the same when it comes to the side profile and the details that are offered. Just move this over to the BBR so you can see that as well. Again, there's really not that much difference at all. The Ferrari, again, this, de it's not a decal, but the Ferrari emblem here definitely looks, again, a little bit better than the Hot Wheels Elite. The Hot Wheels Elite looks more so like a sticker, but it's not bad at all. I'm not suggesting that. It's just, again, it's just a little bit better looking on the BBR version. The wheel detail. Now the BBR version has a very nice detailed wheel. The Ferrari um, script is on the calipers. The hub that connects the disc, the disc you can see all of the um, some finer details as well as this is a carbon ceramic disc and of course you have the valve stem as well. The tire itself has scripting, so there is the Pirelli branding on it. This is a very, very well done tire wheel combination. The Hot Wheels Elite version also has the scripting of the Ferrari on the, the caliper. The caliper doesn't have as much detail. The ceramic disc, it looks different, but still very good. I would say they were equal in appearance. The hub where the disc connects to, or where the, the brake disc connects to the hub is not as detailed. There is no valve stem and there is no scripting on the tires. But even missing those elements, it is a very, very good wheel and tire combination when it comes to detail. Just not as good as the BBR. Now let's take a closer look. The interior of the Hot Wheels Elite is very nicely appointed. You can see it has all the buttons and switches and things that you would expect. Steering wheel is very nicely done. Seat belts are there. They're present and it is a true stitched seat belt. You have details on the door, including a speaker with the speaker grill. All the controls on the steering wheel. Dashboard. Now let's move over to the BBR. Again, it's just so much more cleaner on the BBR. You can see the carbon fiber detail on the steering wheel, which, which was not present on the Hot Wheels Elite, nor was the carbon fiber on the dashboard. Look at the vents for the um, air conditioning. Plenty of detail there. Dashboard is present. So are the gas and brake pedals. All your switches and buttons. Nicely carbon fiber door card on the other side, as you can see there and a speaker grill. And if you look closely at the speaker grill, moving this up and down, you can actually see the grill and you can see what's behind it, which is the actual speaker. Very nicely done. Carbon fiber tub and a stitch seat belt. Now the seat, it looks like plastic. Unfortunately, it's not the greatest seat that I've ever seen in a premium model. But also look further down here. You see that nice carbon fiber detail all throughout here. 
Let's go back over to the Hot Wheels Elite. It's just all monochrome black, no carbon fiber. Look at the uh, grill here. This is supposed to be a mesh grill. It's not here on the Hot Wheels Elite. It's a solid piece. On the BBR, it's a true perforated grill. Now we're in the back of the Hot Wheels Elite model engine. And I am very impressed with the engine detail from Hot Wheels Elite. This is a very, very in-depth engine. There are a lot of components that you can observe and appreciate. And you could tell there was a lot of work put into this mortar detail. I mean, anywhere from the wiring. I mean, all of these cables are put in here, these lines. It's really nicely done. It's on the other side as well. And if you look further down, you can see the exhaust headers there. And those are glorious. Look at those things. This is very well done. Now, the intake looks impressive, but wait until you see the BBR. It's going to really impress you. But this does not look bad at all. You have the Ferrari script on the intake as well. And it's nicely done. The other thing I notice is that, so this here is an actual intake. So that goes to this and it goes, shoots right up. That's how the airflow goes into the engine. And the scoops that are on the top of this, if you're familiar with La Ferraris, there's a scoop right in here that draws that air in. And they included a detail of showing that intake that connects to the bottom here. And that's where that airflow goes. Very well done. Which goes to show that this is definitely a premium Hot Wheels model. It's a closer look at a perforated grill. It is there and it does show some of that detail of the engine, which is very nice. You notice the exhaust outlets. There is a per or supposed to be a perforated grill there. It's solid. There's a reason why I'm bringing it up, and you'll see in a second. There's another solid grill there, and another solid grill. Now let's move over to the BBR. And right away, I'm pretty sure you can appreciate the beautiful carbon fiber detail on this intake. It's much more cleaner. The Ferrari is a lot more legible. Let's go back to here again. Ferrari is a lot more legible. And the engine detail is very similar. But I have to say, I'm, de I'm seeing more lines from the Hot Wheels Elite than I am seeing from the BBR. Or maybe they're just laid out a little bit differently. But they're all present, which is what you'd want to see. So you have all your electronics there. And this also has the exhaust headers. Now, if you notice with the BBR, there's a little more elements to the motor that are hiding them. They're not as, they're not easy to see as they are with the Hot Wheels Elite. Same thing. So you see you have the intakes here, just like with the Hot Wheels Elite, and they draw down to the bottom here. But again, it just seems so much cleaner on the BBR versus the Hot Wheels Elite. And let's lower down to that grill. If you notice right away, look how much more you can see through this grill. Look at those beautiful exhaust mufflers. You can see them right through the grill. It's a really, really nice detail. And with the Hot Wheels Elite, you're not capturing any of that. It's blacked out. Now I mentioned the perforated grills. Let's go further down. If you notice on surrounding this exhaust outlet, you could see the perforated grill because it's a true perforated grill. Hot Wheels Elite, not so much. Again, perforated grill with some detail behind it. Hot Wheels Elite, 
all blacked out. Models have exhaust outlets that are not fully hollow, but there's definitely more depth and realism again with the BBR. And here you have the BBR. It has this dry carbon fiber look to it. You have the cap here for some kind of fluid. Don't know which one. Then there's another one here. Then you have these very nicely done fans that look like the real deal. You move over to the Hot Wheels Elite. And they have some form of carbon fiber up here but the rest of it's just a molded color the cap is missing right there let's go back to the BBR same place except for it's there the other thing I want to point out is you see this section here look over at the BBR not only did they include it they included a perforated grill just below you see the perforated grill on both models both of them look really, really good. The BBR, you can see there's the hole for the ducting. It's these little details that they include in here that are just fantastic. You can see the radiator there. These are things that you would say to yourself, they didn't have to do that. But they did. Then you go over to the Hot Wheels Elite and it's not too much to see there. You don't see an actual duct there, but you do see the tunnels for the screws to hold the top part of the model down, the shell. <laughs> Obviously not realistic. The last thing I wanted to point out about the BBR model is that the spoiler is supposed to go up and retract at certain speeds and with the Hot Wheels Elite you don't have that functionality whereas with the BBR you do so you can pull this up and not only do you have that spoiler that now is functional but you also get more bits and pieces to observe and appreciate with the BBR including again those nicely done mufflers and you also have exposure to the actual electric motor not so much with the Hot Wheels Elite you can't see it The Ferrari, Love Ferrari, by BBR Models. And now to my conclusions. Well, I hope you enjoyed that comparison. As I said in the beginning, there is no doubt that the BBR is a superior model. But is it worth the $150 or more above the entry price of that Hot Wheels Elite? My answer is going to be no. The Hot Wheels Elite is a fantastic model. It wasn't until that BBR came out that that Hot Wheels Elite was the best model you could find fully opening die cast in the Love Ferrari. There was no comparison out there. And Hot Wheels Elite was a really great brand. And sadly, you know, that, that brand went away. And so you're really left with only one company that would actually produce any fully opening, more recent Ferraris, and that would be BBR. That being said, if you're looking for some other color variation other than the red or the black or the yellow that the Hot Wheels Elite originally came in, then definitely you have to go to the BBR, which means that you're paying anywhere from 350 to close to $500 US for a die cast model. If you don't have any versions of this and you want the red one, you still can find them. You can find them on, on buy trade forums, 
there's still quite a few of them on eBay as well. And I've seen them as priced as low as $99 US. So it is very accessible. So if you want a quality Ferrari model, you need to add it to your collection and red, yellow, or black are okay with you, I would get the Hot Wheels Elite all day long. It has enough that I think for most collectors, you'd be satisfied with the amount of detail that you have with the Hot Wheels Elite. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe. That is the best way I'm going to know you're enjoying these videos. Again, I appreciate your time and I'll see you next time.